Hi everyone, this is PJ with Stereochromatic. This is an update to an older video I did on how to set up and uh, get started with Bootstrap 3. Some of the um, some of the links have changed, some of the sources changed, so wanted to refresh this video on how to get started and um, set up a website using Bootstrap 3. First thing you need to do is go to getbootstrap.com and uh, click the download Bootstrap button. Next you'll see this first button here that says download bootstrap. Click that. That will uh, download a zip folder of all the required files you need. Once you extract that you'll see three folders. You'll see a CSS folder, a fonts folder, and a JS folder. Essentially what's inside these uh, folders are all the required files for bootstrap. So inside the CSS you have all the style sheets. Uh, inside the JS folder you have all the JavaScript needed for Bootstrap and then inside the fonts folder you have all the fonts required. So what I usually do is I'll um, I usually use FileZilla to connect to uh, my website or web server and um, so for this example I'm going to create a subdirectory um, on one of my websites and I'm just gonna call it Bootstrap here and then navigate to that new directory that I created. And then next I'm going to take the three folders uh, from the bootstrap files, CSS, fonts, and JS, and move them into that new directory and let those copy over. The next thing you need to do is uh, you need the HTML um, file. So if you go back to get, getbootstrap.com uh, you'll see that there are some basic templates and examples that you can use. So this uh, first, this first piece here is the uh, basic template that you can use. So go ahead and copy that markup here, and then um, I use Sublime Text as my text editor. So open up a text editor and go ahead and paste that code into your text editor. So this is a, a very simple hello world example. Um, it includes the uh, JavaScript needed and the style sheet needed to use Bootstrap. So then uh, once you have that pasted in here you can save that file. I saved it as index.html on my desktop here. You can see it there. And then, um, so the next step is to take that index.html file and then copy it into that same directory that you created that has the uh, CSS fonts and JS folder. And then once that's finished, simply navigate to the um, directory where you added the files. So I put it in subdirectory called bootstrap. So I go to that subdirectory, navigate to that URL, and there it is, hello world, using Bootstrap 3. Let's uh, also do one of, the, uh, one of the examples. There's a, right underneath that on getbootstrap.com, you'll see some of the um, other starter templates and themes that you can use. Um, so let's do this one called Nero Jumbotron. So you click that here, and what I do is I right click on the page and hit view page source. I'm in Chrome here, but this should be the same if you're in Firefox. So this is the page source, this is the markup for that particular template. So I'm going to copy that code and then go back to my text editor here, Sublime Text. Um, this is the old index.html. I'm going to delete that and copy in the new code. Um, there's a few things you need to do here. Um, the uh, paths to the files are uh, different from, because they came from that Get Bootstrap page. So they're being referenced in different places. So um, you'll see here that, for instance, referencing the style sheet is um, you just say the CSS folder and then the file that you want. Um, 
on this new one, you'll see that the path is different. So you want to change the path for the style sheet. Uh, the JavaScript as well here. And let's take a look. And this one at the bottom. And save that file. And then I'm going to copy the file back uh, into that subdirectory that I created. It's going to ask me if I'd like to overwrite it. All right. And then we simply go back to our URL here, uh, navigate to that directory we created. And there it is. There's the uh, narrow jumbotron template using Bootstrap 3 all set up and running live on our web server. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and uh, leave me a comment down below. If you'd like to see any other tutorial videos um, regarding web development, app development, game development, or uh, any kind of audio or video uh, tutorials you'd like to see as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.